I've been running with Jack for probably uh, 25 years. We run together. Uh, every other morning we run early in the morning with my little Cocker Spaniel. I try when I'm home visiting, you know, I try to get out and run with him. One thing that he's noted for is an uh, abysmal sense of direction, so that if I'm running with him in Amsterdam, for example, if he says to go left, you know you should go right. I think Jack can be credited with establishing the whole group of researchers here in Hamilton who focus on thrombosis, on clotting disorders. And this group involves people that span the spectrum from basic researchers to clinical researchers and epidemiologists. And it's through this foundation that uh, Jack has been able to achieve so much, uh, revolutionizing the diagnosis and management and our understanding of factors that influence the development of clotting disorders, and particularly in the veins, but also in the arteries. Maybe once or twice in the lifetime of a clinical researcher um, do you do something that changes practice worldwide. I think Jack does it once or twice a year. I take pride with the fact that the group have been responsible for probably 80 percent of how venous thrombosis is diagnosed, prevented and treated. So we've had a huge impact on clinical aspects of management of venous thrombosis. And we continue to do this. Professor Hirsch's research over the past four decades has led to the alleviation of suffering and prevention of death in tens of thousands of people, the development of low molecular weight heparins, the simplifying of oral anticoagulant therapy, and the development of new antithrombotic agents are major advances benefiting patients the world over. The work that Jack has spearheaded has had benefits for patients with stroke, has had benefit for patients with cardiac uh, valves, heart valves, has, has had ben benefit for pregnant women, has had benefit for pediatric patients, uh, has had benefit for people with other forms of heart disease. And it goes on and on and on. So it's just, you know, it's a very broad uh, web he's cast. Hirsch's greatest influence was Fraser Mustard. They met when Hirsch was a research fellow in 1965. He visited me in London and he said, I've got a grant for you. And it actually turned out to be the first visiting scientist award that the Ontario Heart Foundation ever awarded. So I came and worked in his laboratory in Toronto. I'd learned a lot in St. Louis, I'd learned a lot in London, but I think I learned more working in must with Mustard for six months than I did in those other three years. And it was to be self-reliant as a scientist, uh, to ask the right questions. Um, if you don't know how to do something, you don't run off and get someone else to do it for you. You, you learn how to do it. It's problem solving. And that's what we end up doing for the rest of our lives. Dr. Hirsch has trained numerous leading researchers in his specialty. He's the author of hundreds of articles and publications, is the recipient of numerous national and international awards for his work, including the prestigious Trillium Award, and most recently has received the honor of the Order of Canada. I would say that all of my awards uh, not only reflect the work that I did, but reflect the work of many, many other people in the group. So we've been able to keep this group together um, and the group's been productive. Dad has an ability to cut to the chase, I think, and, and so if he's asked 50 questions, he'll quite quickly select what's the most important question to answer and what's going to be the most meaningful answer to other people. And I don't know, that's, I don't know where he got that skill from, but it's a good one. I think one of the other things he's, tra he's taught people like, uh, you know, his protégés that he's brought up uh, is that um, it's very important to be gracious and, and, and give things away. You, you, you don't have to be the lead off author on every paper in the New England Journal help a younger person and let let you, you you know you be there for them you help them put the work together and write the paper but let the let the younger generation um, 
be the first author in the big publication or the grant. And I think that's, again, the humbleness, that another trait that he's, he certainly taught me. Dedication to what he, what he does or what anyone else does. He, you know, like it, it, he's, he's taught me that if I can be you know, extremely dedicated to doing something, that, that I'll succeed. Um, he, he believes in you know, giving it your all and working really hard 